Hey guys, I'm Justin. We're going to install the hitch on this Dodge Durango today. It may take you to some interesting places. You can go camping, pull a bike rack, or you can use it to pull a U-Haul trailer. You would need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to make our first step a little bit easier, we're going to go up under the car and we're going to lower the spare tire. So now that we've got the spare tire down, we do have two bolts on each side that we're going to remove. They will be with a 21 millimeter. We'll get started knocking them out. Now we're going to repeat on the passenger side. All right, so now we're going to roll our hitch into place using our exclusive U-Haul hitch jack. If you don't have one, you may want to get some extra hands. It is kind of heavy. Right, so your vehicle may have these heat shields for the spare tire. They are pliable, so you're going to put the hitch on the inside of it. And it should flex out when you're pushing it up in there. Now that we got it in place, we're going to use the factory existing bolts to finish securing it. We're going to repeat this on the other side. So now that we got everything started, we're going to tighten them down with the 21 millimeter. Then we're going to go back and use the torque wrench to torque them to factory specs. Just make sure that you don't over torque them with the impact. You can find the specs linked in the description below. Now we're going to raise the tire back into place. So with a hitch back on level ground, I'm going to give you some measurements for accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is 3.5 inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 14.5 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about products seen in this video, or you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Pitch Professional, visit us online today at uhallhitches.com.